My name is Eric Lapiroelli. I'm a full professor of accounting and finance. I have graduated from the University of Bremen where I have obtained my PhD degree in accounting. Uh, then I have conducted my postdoctoral studies at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, uh, the Sloan School of Management. Uh, thus far, I have, um, I'm working on different research projects and we have obtained several research grants, uh, including the one from the Rustaweli Science Foundation. Uh, this is the major uh, work and activity so far. And also, I have been the, one of the youngest, not one of the, but yeah, actually the youngest of all times uh, postdoctoral uh, uh, winner of the Fulbright program and I have been uh, um, in this framework working in the uh, Sloan School at uh, MIT. At the moment I'm a full professor of accounting and finance at the Caucasus School of Business, Caucasus University. Uh, one of the major projects uh, we are at the moment working on is uh, to study the implementation and ad adoption of the uh, financial reporting standards in Georgia. Uh, this is one of the projects by which we have obtained the research grants from Rustawel Science Foundation. And more concretely, we are studying how the law is implemented in the country, how the law is enforced in the country, and how good or bad is the quality of accounting numbers in Georgia. Uh, we are also uh, working on the, on the uh, yeah, investigation of the timelines of financial statements uh, submission process uh, in Georgia, which happens currently in the framework of the uh, financial transparency reform, which is led and uh, which is run by the Ministry of Finance and more concretely the Cyrus Group of yeah, one of the challenges the education system probably faces in Georgia is that so we indeed, um, yeah, the, the scientific efforts we are doing in the country is uh, not as much as it would be desirable, so to say. Uh, if we are willing, kind of, at least in the medium or long run, to transpose towards a knowledge-based economy, then um, the need is indeed more investments, more efforts towards the science directions, towards the innovation, and the education system in general, and this might be the first lead or first step towards more success. Well, becoming the uh, 30 under 30 participant or winner under the Forbes is, uh, well, for me it's less like a responsibility as such. Uh, well, if we are speaking about leaders or like young leaders, so to say, uh, for a leader or natural leader, I would say these activities that they are doing and these people are doing, I think this naturally comes to them and uh, I don't think it's more like a responsibility, I would rather call it an opportunity uh, from their perspective.